All right. Oh, you opened it. Okay, good. So, Jerry, you've been doing tinkering. I I tinker. Show yeah. show me this tinkering. Okay, so I got into this making these battery cells for my house, and I was like, screw my house. I'll uh, <laughs> I'll keep paying for the utilities, but these are for film sets. So right now we have 20 amp hours. We're doing a load test on the Aperture 120D. And I did a load test on the Aperture LS1 half. I got six hours of runtime at 100%. And so when we just said the LS1 half is how many watts? It's, I think it's between 65 and 80 watts. So this is probably double that. So yeah. 120 watts. So I'm guessing three hours maybe, we'll see. Let's we'll see if we can get three hours out of it. Right now we're at two minutes. We're going strong, two minutes. Do you have a voltmeter? Uh, somewhere, it's probably buried. If you need to check the bolt, just stick it, when this is closed, just stick it in there. And I would say turn it off after like, when it gets to 13 volts. Okay. But it right now it's at 16, it's gonna take a while to trickle down. So were you saying those are the same cells that are in the NP batteries or close to? Yeah, do you have any uh, NP batteries mm. close by? No. Oh, no, I do. I have one of yours in that, in the camera case, if you want to get it out. Yeah, so basically, in one of these batteries, you have one of mine? Yeah. I think it was on something. Oh, that's right. Okay, so... I mean, it's mine. It just says Jane's on it. <laughs> so, in one of these, when these go bad, one of these has four of those cells in it. So, four of those cells um, in here... Basically, we have, let's see, 20, 40, 60, we have 80 cells. So this is four, we have 80 in here. So 20 of those, basically. Yeah, 20 of these. So I'm thinking, because this was just prototype, I'm thinking uh, we have plenty of room for more batteries. We could go up to a 40 amp hour battery. It's got a full display on it, and then we're going to make adapters so you can... Um, I'm always curious about heat with these things. Yeah, I mean, you can put it up and fill the batteries themselves. So you've got them all rigged. So these, uh, hold on, sorry. These are brackets that came with it, or did you order these separate? So these are separate. And then, super cheap. You were, you were building some stuff. Well, it's probably still cheaper to buy these compared to like 3D print them. I mean, we'll see. I, my 3D printer gets here on Wednesday. Tell you what, it's way more trouble than you think. 3D printer. I know. No, I, I won't actually jump back on that, but okay. So yeah, you yeah, could fit could, a lot more in there. You could fit a lot more in there. And so this is set up as what they call a 4S configuration. So there's four cells. So each one cell is 3.7 volts in series. So you have negative, positive, negative, positive. And so then you get your, your nominal like 14.8 volts. And in series, it adds the voltage up as you move along, as it goes through? Yeah, you. so the capacity of one of these is the capacity of the entire thing when but you're in you have, series. But you have the, the greater voltage as opposed to parallel, which is you'd be, you'd be bumping your capacity, but same voltage. Right, oh, right, right. I'm falling So that's what you did is that you make these packs in parallel, so you get all that, and it's, it makes it really easy. So you put all the negatives on one side, all the positives, make the cell, and then you do all your series conversion over here. On on the cell on the big cells themselves. Yeah, because a lot of people what they do is they'll do this, try and get each pack up to 14 volts, and then put them into parallel. And it's just a way harder soldering job to do. Okay, so so right now we're running gonna run this guy for for lighting purposes, we're gonna let it run. Right off the bat, I know um, some of the more mid-level V-mount batteries would have conked out by now because I don't know exactly what the circuit protection is, but if you draw too much too fast out of those batteries, they'll they'll think it's failing. It'll turn itself off. There's some technical technicalities in there I don't quite understand. Um, but how much was this whole setup? If you're counting like let's let's count a Harbor Freight Pelican for thirty-five bucks instead of your oh right 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 so so batteries holder cables. I'm guessing I'm into this uh, without the electronics. Tomorrow it's gonna get like a digital interface and, right. and all kinds of fancy stuff so we can use it with different types of lights. That, uh, just as it is, I think I spent a hundred bucks. 
Okay, and that's cheaper than a half decent. That's my that's my that's my one of my big V mounts. Way cheaper than a V mount. And it'll last way longer. So if you have the the, the hours, the man the the sweat hours equity, um, this or, would be. Or pretty you sweet. could hire me to make one. Or you could hire. Or you, you turn this into a business. Should we Kickstarter you. Well, let's turn it into a business. I'm ready to get high on soldering fumes. I need to bust the soldering iron out. Okay, but this is DC though, so we are going DC, so it's not a solution for everything unless your LEDs have DC options right now. Right. Because you do lose a little bit of juice when you do the conversion right. from DC to AC if you're going to plug something in. The goal is, is to have enough options and configurations that most DC LCDs or uh, LEDs. LEDs that are out there, we will have and we will have like an adapter cable so you can dial in what voltage and amp you need and you plug that adapter into it. So it's basically you you adapt it from the brick because right. they all have transformers. Everything has a transformer. Right. You just figure out what the voltage is so you can go right into a DC right. power pack. So if there's someone that has like a mini XLR TA3 that goes directly into the camera, um, we'll figure out how to come up with a cable so you order, I think my goal is to you order the pack and then whatever cables you need based on what lights you have. That'd be pretty sweet. And then you are like the cool guy on set. Because nobody likes running power. Nobody likes. And, and like, we're going to throw a rave like every other weekend at my <laughs> shop. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, a millennial or something? <laughs> so. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I mean, wow. seriously, this is, this is, this is 12 amp hours right here, but this costs how much? 230, 250 maybe? Right. Is this, is this a different, no, that'd be, okay, if those are basically the Sony's, that's probably the same idea as far as the, what type of battery it is. It's probably. Similar. It's probably 18650 stacked in here as well. Got it. There's very, the reason why they use 18650s is very easy. You don't have to balance charge them. They stopped, you know those thin gel packs, the LiPo gel packs? Those have to be, uh, those have to be balance charged, which is for like a film set is really technical. So that's why for me, I want to be able to just plug it in and go. Is that going to explode like your Galaxy 8? No because these are very robust. So we're gonna test the cells, make sure they're all good before we use them. This was actually done with all brand new cells. So, anyways. And then we're gonna be making a really cool battery for the Zoom F8 that has a Hiroshi straight to the battery, has a couple USBs. It's gonna have a um, indicator on how much battery life it has. It's basically gonna run your bag, your whole and bag. And then you're gonna have an attachment that sticks on the side and you'll have vape <laughs> right from there. Because <That's... laughs> <laughs> we know all about that. Yeah. No, I t uh, dude, I totally didn't know. I'm so excited. I have another MP. I'll keep my eyes out and see if I have any more. Because I think there's a couple of yours banging around somewhere. Cool. Okay. All right. I gotta go uh, finish.